Great Pyrenees The Great Pyrenees, known as the Pyrenean mountain dog outside of North America, is a large breed of dog used as a livestock guardian dog. It should not be confused with the Pyrenean Mastiff. As late as 1874 the breed was not completely standardized in appearance, with two major subtypes recorded, the Western and the Eastern. They are related to several other large, white, European Livestock Guardian Dogs LGD, including the Marema Sheepdog Italy, the Kuvas Hungary, the Akbash Turkey, and the Polish Tatra Sheepdog or Polski Osarek Podolanski, and somewhat less closely to the Newfoundland and the St. Bernard. According to the Great Pyrenees Club of America, the Great Pyrenees is naturally nocturnal and aggressive with any predators that may harm its flock. However, the breed can typically be trusted with small, young and helpless animals of any kind due to its natural guardian instinct. The Great Pyrenees breed has experienced a dramatic fall-off in the number of U.S. AKC breed registrations from 2000 to 2010. The breed was ranked at number 45 in 2000 and by 2010 the Great Pyrenees had dropped to number 71. In 2013 the breed was ranked number 69. Other large breeds in the same working group classification, the Newfoundland and the St. Bernard, have fared far better in maintaining their breed rankings. In 2010 the Newfoundland and the St. Bernard were ranked number 44 and number 45, respectively. Description Males grow to 110 to 130 pounds, 50 to 59 kilograms, and 27 to 32 inches, 69 to 81 centimeters, while females reach 90 to 115 pounds, 41 to 52 kilograms, and 26 to 31 inches, 66 to 79 centimeters. On average, their lifespan is 10 to 11 years. The weather-resistant double coat consists of a long, flat, thick, outer coat of coarse hair, straight or slightly undulating, and lying over a dense, fine, woolly undercoat. The coat is more profuse about the neck and shoulders where it forms a rough or mane, which is more pronounced in males so that it may fend off wolf attacks. The longer hair on the tail forms a plume. There is also feathering along the back of the front legs and along the back of the thighs, giving a pantaloon effect. Dot the hair on the face and ears is both shorter and a finer texture. The main coat color is white and can have varying shades of gray, red, rust, or tan around the face, including a full face mask, ears and sometimes on the body and tail. As Great Pyrenees mature, their coats grow thicker and the longer colored hair of the coat often fades. Sometimes a little light tan or lemon will appear later in life around the ears and face. Being a double-coated breed, the undercoat can also have color in the skin as well. The color of the nose and on the eye rims should be jet black. Gray or tan markings that remain lend the French name, blaireau, badger, which is a similar grizzled mixture color seen in the European badger. More recently, any color is correctly termed badger or blaireau. One singular characteristic of the Great Pyrenees is the unique double dew claws on each hind leg. Temperament In nature, the Great Pyrenees is confident, gentle, especially with children, and affectionate. While territorial and protective of its flock or family when necessary, its general demeanor is of composure and patience and loyalty. It is a strong-willed, independent and reserved breed. It is also attentive, quite fearless and loyal to its duties. The Great Pyrenees size makes it an imposing guardian. A dog of this breed will patrol its perimeter and may wander away if left off its leash in an unenclosed space. The Great Pyrenees protects its flock by barking and, being nocturnal, tends to bark at night and less trained against such behavior. The Great Pyrenees can be slow to learn new commands, slow to obey and somewhat stubborn to train. For this reason, the breed is ranked number 64, out of 79 ranks covering 131 breeds, in Stanley Corn's The Intelligence of Dogs. Despite this relative stubbornness, it is quite unusual for the Great Pyrenees to become aggressive or turn on its master. It is wary of strangers if the person is not allowed in the house, but will settle down if the owner of the dog seems comfortable with a stranger. This dog was originally bred to be a livestock guard dog and can still be found doing that job on farms and ranches. Upkeep When kept as a house pet, the Great Pyrenees coat needs brushing once or twice a week. The breed needs moderate exercise but tends to be somewhat lazy, especially in warm weather. They particularly enjoy cold weather and snow. Like similar breeds, some Great Pyrenees tend to drool, especially with exercise, heat or stress. However, this is not on a Beethoven-like scale and generally, they are not droolers. Great Pyrenees need to have their nails clipped off and to avoid damage. 
This breed also needs to have their teeth and ears cleaned regularly to prevent infection. Great Pyrenees have a double coat, and will shed their undercoat. They shed heavily in spring, but regular brushing will keep the shedding and the hair manageable. History The Great Pyrenees were bred centuries ago to work with shepherds and herding dogs in the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain. One of the first descriptions of the breed comes from Fray Miguel Agustin, prior of the Tempo who lived between 1560 and 1630, published in 1617, a book which he called Libro de los Secretos de la Agricultura, Casa de Campo y Pastoral. It gives the reasons why shepherds prefer white puppies, excluding those born with spots of dark color. Relates the friar, the wool cattle dogs should not must be so big or so heavy as those of the guard of the house, but strong and sturdy lightweight and ready to combat and fight and for run, because they have to make saves and guard against wolves and hunt them down if those take a cattle. These should be white so that the shepherd can easily see when these run after the wolf and know them in the evening and the morning. From 1675 the breed was a favorite of the Grand Dauphin and other members of the French aristocracy. In the mid-19th century, the breed was not homogenized. According to the article published on February 20, 1874, in the journal Acclimatization and written by the canine expert Kermatic, says. Mary Crane founded the Great Pyrenees breed in America in 1931, and together with her husband Francis began Basquiri Great Pyrenees at their Needham, Massachusetts home. Her devotion and dedication to Great Pyrenees continued for more than 50 years. In 1931 Basquiri imported the first Great Pyrenees from France, for the purpose of establishing the breed in America. In 1933 the Great Pyrenees was formally recognized by the American Kennel Club as a purebred breed eligible to complete an all-AKC competition, this due in large part to the efforts of the Cranes toward achieving this recognition. Basquiri preserved the finest Great Pyrenees dogs and bloodlines in the world from the ravages and hostilities of World War II in Europe. They imported nearly 60 Great Pyrenees from France and Europe to the United States, representing more than 10 distinct bloodlines or kennels in a diverse population of Great Pyrenees. Spread It is possible that Venezuelan Mucuchis breed descend from the Great Pyrenees, other Spanish breeds, and other few more breeds, that could be introduced in 16th century by Spanish conquistadors. The real spread of the Great Pyrenees out of its mountains developed in the 19th century with the birth of Romanticism. This breed, first appreciated for its beauty and poise, and then by its innate temperamental qualities, gained fame in the rest of Europe. The Great Pyrenees were introduced in America by General Lafayette in 1824. In Australia they were introduced in 1843 to save herds on a farm in Hamilton. By the early 19th century there was a thriving market for the dogs in mountain towns, from which they would be taken to other parts of France. The dog was developed to be agile in order to guard sheep on steep, mountainous slopes. The breed is said to be part of the mix that was used to create the Leyenberger. In popular culture, create the Leyenberger, 